Hello, Pombono Tech, Facebook and YouTube community. It's me, Samantha, if you don't yet know. I'm Deputy Director of Pombano Technology Development Center. And this is our very first Tech Friday SA session for 2021. Uh, thank you so much for all of uh, you that are busy streaming in during your lunchtime, I suppose you could say. Uh, as this is the first one, it's an impromptu session. Um, it's to help uh, just sort of navigate some new controls that we're using for live streaming. Uh, and as you can see, we're hosting it on the Pombono Tech fan page um, and not the TechSoup fan page. So, as mentioned, I'm Sam, uh, and I'm going to be talking you through uh, what's on your screen for around about the next 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, please do comment down below if you have any questions. Give this a like, give it a share. Uh, but most importantly, if you think that we can assist your nonprofit organization, or a nonprofit organization in your network, please do share this video with them so that we can be in touch uh, and uh, help them. So today's topic is who is TechSoup in Southern Africa? And the reason why I've chosen this topic is because it's gonna be a good refresher as to who we are and what we do. Um, I know that many of you are returning customers of ours uh, and many of you know us for, for, for TechSoup for certain things, but so much has changed, um, particularly during the course of 2020 uh, to the TechSoup in Southern Africa program. And I wanted to spend some time just detailing that with all of you so that as it, all of us, mo well, most of us go into our new financial years, uh, as of the 1st of March, uh, we can equip you with, with software and tech solutions that your NGO uh, most probably needs the most. So I can't explain tech soup in Southern Africa if I don't explain Pombono Tech. Now, Pombono Tech is a South African nonprofit. Uh, we first registered as an NPC. Uh, we then subsequently have received our PBO status. We are VAT registered, and we also have NPO registration as well. Uh, we have two locations across South Africa. Uh, one is in uh, Cape Town and surrounds, and the other one is in uh, Johannesburg. And on screen, you're going to see just a couple of names. I know it's in very, very small print, um, but this is the TechSoup in Southern Africa team uh, that many of you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So. Pombono Tech is the local nonprofit uh, in South Africa because that's where we're based. Um, and TechSoup is one of our flagship programs and we administer the program across Southern Africa on behalf of TechSoup Global, which is based in the USA. And the reason why I wanted to detail that is because the first starting point to knowing who TechSoup in Southern Africa is, is to know that it's not a nonprofit. Um, it is a program of a nonprofit and that nonprofit is ours, which is Pombono Tech. And on screen, you're gonna see a couple of names and I know all of you know Arnold Nechambidi. If Arnold's watching, uh, give us a like and, and say hi to everybody. But Arnold is your general point of contact for any software or technical uh, sort of know-how uh, when it comes to the TechSoup program. Many of you deal with Arnold with NGO Source and your, um, your equivalency determination questionnaires. Many of you have done validations with him. And Arnold is, is the one that, that often spends many, many hours on calls with NGOs and guides them through their software purchases. Um, you then have Di, uh, who's in Cape Town, and I should mention, Arnold's in, in Johannesburg. Uh, you've got Di, who's our program coordinator, um, and she is the go-to if, you, if you're looking for a general ask about any of our programs. TechSoup in Southern Africa is just one program. We have multiple other programs as Pombono, and Di is your point of contact if you're wanting to know how our other programs can assist your NGO. Um, our website developer is Yam Kela, and she is based in Johannesburg as well. Um, and for those of you that are uh, developing new websites, um, a lot of you are grassroots NGOs, uh, and we assist you in getting a website presence. Um, and I shouldn't say we, it's Yam Kela. She's the one that goes through all of that process with you. And then we have Nonta Chambo, who very affectionately we call Lelo. Uh, so sometimes I, I get customers who say, Who's Lelo and who's Nonto Chambo? It's the same person. Um, affectionately, we call her Lelo internally, uh, and she is our validation coordinator. So often uh, where you would hear from Lelo is if you are busy with, let's say, a Google validation or a Microsoft validation, uh, and you need to maybe submit some documentation like your MPC certificate or your PBO certificate, nine times out of 10, um, our, our validation coordinator will reach out to you and say, hey, we need some documentation for you to go to the next step. 
And then we have SPA, or SPA Camiso. Uh, he is our technical support through the TechSoup program. Um, and he is the critical point of contact so that once you've received either your discounted or your donated software, he's going to help you set it up on your computer and make sure everything is working uh, very, very well. And then you have me, which is Sam. Uh, and basically, I do whatever lands on my desk. Um, I'm a huge support to Arnold. Um, from a sort of management and strategic point of view from an organization. But many of you hear from me from a finance point of view. Uh, if you place an order on our store, I'm the one that creates your invoice. I'm the one that sends you statements. Uh, you send your, your purchase orders to me. Uh, so from the TechSoup program point of view, um, I, I do that with you. And then I also do all the marketing. So any social media posts you see, live videos like this, um, using marketing to help you understand some of the products and the tutorials, uh, that is is my job. So that's a quick overview of who the team is. Uh, and what I'd like to do now is to point you to uh, a very simple uh, URL that you can forever remember and you can forever share out to anybody in your network. And that is techsoup.global. And what will happen when you land on that is you'll get this little box that's in the middle of the screen where there's a drop down and you can select the country that your nonprofit is either registered in or operates from. And that's a good starting point. Because what TechSoup does is TechSoup affords your nonprofit access to a portfolio of software solutions at either a donated um, uh, cost uh, or a discounted cost. And what we do behind the scenes is we help your nonprofit ascertain which software is best suited to your needs. Um, we then do your eligibility with you, uh, with our tech donor partners, uh, and all of that gets done through the TechSoup uh, country specific site. Now you'll see on a later slide that we have 10 countries uh, in our portfolio that makes up Southern Africa. Um, so I didn't want to list all of them on screen for you now. Rather, it's so much easier for you as a value TechSoup member to just remember TechSoup.global, then select your country of choice. And this is also very helpful for many of you NGOs that have got multiple branches across Southern Africa. We can assist you and you can see what is available in different countries and how to streamline some of your, um, your software needs. Now, you can see the tagline is that we believe in technology for global good. And some of you that have been with us on the TechSoup program for many years, you would have noted a, a product um, in South Africa from Avis, a car rentals. And we often get the question, um, you know, Avis is not software and it's got nothing to do with technology. And I'm so glad that, that there are those of you that are asking us that question because we at TechSoup truly believe um, that if we can match nonprofits like yourselves with solutions that streamline uh, your day-to-day -day activities, that save you money, um, that help you connect with the donor portfolio, ultimately us being the technology, the network, the website that you're using is going to help you achieve a global social impact. So I just wanted to detail that very quickly uh, with regards to some of the product offerings. Now, added onto that as well, I wanted to just give a very quick example of how TechSoup can benefit your organization. Um, and I'm going to go with one of the leading products on our portfolio and one of our leading donors, and that is Microsoft. Now, if you are a nonprofit organization that is newly registered and you've gone out and you've purchased a device, or in most cases, you're using your own device, uh, maybe you've, you've already purchased a device personally, and often that gets carried into the nonprofit you're going to need software for that. Uh, and you're going to need updated and compliant software. And your number one operating system for most laptops that NGOs are using is the Microsoft Windows operating system. Added to that, you might want to add on some apps like Outlook or Excel or PowerPoint. And that is housed in an Office standard package from Microsoft. Now, if you were to go to a retailer, and in a South African context, um, think about your big IT retailers where you could go and purchase laptops and software and, and you know a whole bunch of other things. If you had to go to that retailer as a nonprofit and go and purchase Office Standard from them, you could be looking at the ballpark figure of about four and a half thousand rand to six thousand rand, depending on the package that you choose. But through TechSoup in Southern Africa program, when you are eligible. When you sign up um, on our TechSoup uh, site and you put that purchase request through to Microsoft for that Office Standard package, you could 
access that package for under 800 rand. And that is your license for the rest of your lifetime. Um, as long as you've got the device and as long as the license is working on your device, you never ever have to upgrade it or, or put in extra license keys. So it's a once off um, donation from Microsoft uh, in the form of taking away that huge pricing attached to Office Standard but they do ask you to pay a discounted amount, which is uh, in the form of an admin fee. So that in a nutshell um, is just one of the benefits from, from being a value tech uh, in Southern Africa member. And it's also an explanation as to purchasing software that is available on our store and, and the incredible um, cost saving options that we have available for you. Now added onto that, we've also got products where you can receive them 100% for free. So for example, and, and this is actually a question that came up on one of my social media posts yesterday, uh, which is Google for nonprofits. Uh, what Google for nonprofits have done is they said, we have an offering for nonprofits, which we would like to give eligible nonprofits for free. So what we do as TechSoup is we do the validation behind the scenes for that application to take place. So Google will come to us through TechSoup and say, um, nonprofit ABC has applied for Google for nonprofits. Can you please validate them to make sure that they have an NGO certificate, that they've got the correct SARS documentation, that their mission is clear, that they've got a website and so on and so on. And that is what our team here in South Africa does behind the scenes when you are applying uh, for a lot of the donated um, software solutions from our portfolio. So, what I'm trying to say to you through, through TechSoup is there are two different um, arms to it. The first arm is to purchase software at a heavily discounted rate. Um, and there is nobody else in Southern Africa that can provide you with that compliant um, and, and credible software from the tech donors themselves at that price other than us. Um, and then the other arm is to do validation so that we can help put software um, directly at your nonprofit's fingertips for free and there we have to do some eligibility and, and validation. Now I know that TechSoup in Southern Africa and the Pombano tech brand together can be a little bit confusing because at the end of the day it's the same people. Um, you'll, you'll see me as Sam talk as Pombano or as Tech to NGBV which is one of our other programs or you'll see me talk as TechSoup in Southern Africa and what we've done is we have used our social media um, to further simplify that process for you if you're wanting to find out about specific products and about specific programmatic details. So our TechSoup in Southern Africa social media consists of a Facebook page, a Twitter account, an Instagram account, and a LinkedIn presence as well. And I do encourage you to please reach out to us on any of these social media platforms. Uh, on there, you will also get regular reminders to subscribe to our newsletter. We do try and send a newsletter out uh, twice a month if there are any product changes. So, for example, if Zoom comes to us and says, hey, we want to offer nonprofits something extra, please will you send out an announcement about that? Then you may get more than two emails per month. But our aim with our emails and with our social media is to simplify our messaging for you so that you are delivered with the information regarding product changes, our program growth, or any new solutions available to you in a very, very easy format. Uh, and that's why we've got a presence all across social media. Uh, and we do encourage you, as you can see on the bottom of the screen, to also email us on our dedicated support email so that we can share some of those links with you if you're struggling to find us. Now, the most important slide is our contact slide. Uh, and the reason why I wanted to show this and have this up on screen for a little bit is because we do have multiple email addresses. Um, and sometimes you might go through a validation process with us and maybe Lelo might email you uh, from her email, which is validation at pombano.org.za. Uh, or maybe I might email you to, to let you know about a change to a product that you've already uh, subscribed to. And I'm Sam at Pombano. Um, but an easy way to know who to contact and and how to contact them is simply to just use techsoup at pombano.org.za. That email will come to our team and from there one of us will then be able to direct the email to 
whomever needs to, to answer it. You can also call us. Now, as you can see on screen, uh, we service 10 countries, as I mentioned, in Southern Africa. Uh, and any of these countries can call us on our South African number, which is on screen. But if you are an international customer of ours uh, and you, you, you want to get through to us, please don't think that you must phone us. Uh, you can reach us on social media, but the best way is to simply send us an email uh, and one of our team members will contact you accordingly as well. And that is um, the end of the quick presentation as to who are we, what do we do, how can we help your nonprofit. Uh, and I really hope that I've been able to, to, to better explain the difference between Pombano Tech and TechSoup in Southern Africa because the plans that we have for 2021 are huge. I'm sure many of you know that remote working has really impacted the way that we as nonprofits in Southern Africa complete and achieve our mission and our day-to-day -day activities. Uh, we have seen a huge trend uh, where a lot of nonprofits are now uh, doing activities and programs, rolling out programs that is not actually what they were doing before COVID. Uh, and we are your support structure here in South Africa, servicing Southern Africa to help you access the donated or the discounted software and tech tools to help you with your mission. So please reach out to us at any point if you need any assistance with anything to do with your laptop or your mobile device or uh, your desktop, if you need to upgrade, if you need to downgrade, if you need to save some money. Um, and our products range from, like I said, Microsoft to Zoom to Google to Facebook uh, to Bitdefender. I mean, there's, there's so many of them that I can't mention them all in this call. So we've got a wide range uh, and variety for you to choose from. But most importantly, I wanted you to know who the team was so that you could put a name behind some of the people that are contacting you and also get to learn about us a little bit more because we, just like you, are a non-profit organization in South Africa. Until I see you all again on our next Tech Friday, which is probably not going to be next week, but the week after, um, I do wish you all uh, the very best and hope that you're keeping healthy. Uh, and just a last shout out to uh, NASA Perseverance. If you haven't yet seen, we landed another rover on Mars last night. Uh, so well done to us for that. And I hope that many of you uh, with your after school programs are going to be enjoying some of the conversations from, from some of the young ones today, being all excited about space and astronauts and figuring out about rockets. Um, it's such an awesome way to, to get uh, our youth um, included and involved in STEM. So please keep well, do reach out to us. And until I see you next time, give this a share if you think someone can benefit from it. Take care now. Bye-bye.